Hello. So, this is a follow-up to the car that came in Saturday. A bricked Tesla Roadster. Probably one of the finest examples we've seen in terms of condition. Uh, but sadly bricked and undrivable. So we began life support on the car. And uh, here it is Monday morning. And we are ready today to take it off life support and attempt to reactivate the car. So if everything goes as planned, we're going to see a Roadster that is now able to charge. And after uh, a charge, be able to be driven again. We have our recovery equipment. And uh, this car's been uh, trickling all weekend. What we're going to do today is based on the voltage levels and what the software is telling us, it looks like this car may be ready to fire back up. So we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to put the service disconnect back into the ESS pack. And then we have our Tesla charge cable ready. This is the 120 volt version. And if everything goes as planned, we're going to be able to open up this charge port. We'll have a uh, light come on. There's an LED ring around that charge port. We'll plug this in and the car will start to charge. Wow, this car has a new car odor. Amazing. We're now going to put the service disconnect plug back into the ESS pack, and uh, which is way up inside this pack here. And we have a laptop connected to the car, to the CAN bus signals. And this is going to tell us a lot about the car as it's coming back up. And what you'll see when we first plug in the service disconnect, there's a lag time and a wake up routine and eventually the car will start talking to us again and it will tell us whether it's ready to be charged or not. But it is on. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so we've got the service disconnect plugged in. The next thing we need to do is re-enable, or as they call it, uninhibit the APS. That is the auxiliary power system. So again, we're going to select a non-interactable area of the screen, tap it a few times. Once we're in the menu here, we'll tap in the password. Now we're in this uh, diagnostic menu, and then under controls here, uninhibit, and what you'll hear is the pumps and other sorts of 12 volt systems fire up. Okay, so the car seems to have woken up well. The software is telling us that the uh, sheets seem to be in good shape. We're going to open the charge port door now. And we have our LED light. And we should hear a couple of clicks here within 10 seconds. You plug it in, as soon as you slide this forward, the ring here is gonna go from white to blue. When it's blue, what it's going to do is it's going to start checking things. Um, there's, a, there's a particular sequence that the high voltage system needs to go through before it will allow this charging. Amber means that it's charging. The speed at which it's flashing is dependent on how low the state of charge is. Once the state of charge gets to a higher state, you will find that this will flash very slowly it will darken, it will dim, and then brighten very slowly. Right now it's doing it a little bit quicker, only because we're at such a low state of charge. Um, also, what you probably heard during that check sequence is contactors. So you're hearing the contactors in the battery clicking. You're hearing contactors in the PEM also clicking. Okay, so as you can see, it's sitting at zero miles. 
There really should be a little bit of mileage at this moment, but typically the roads just don't do that. So we're gonna let this thing do is we're going to let it charge all the way up to full. And once it reaches full, the battery recalculates some things internally, and then it will start posting mileage. So we'll see when that's done, and that'll probably take a day or two.